Good morning. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. I look a little bit rough and that's fine. It happens. Today we are going to Scotland and by Scotland I mean specifically St. Andrews which is where I went to university and one of the fashion shows is having their fashion show this Wednesday. So I am going today to hand deliver the pieces and to also attend a fashion show. And I'm really excited because it's my first fashion show in two years. Yay! <laughs> my lovely, lovely collection is going to make its like runway debut um, right before London Fashion Week next week. Crazy. I have stayed up until 2 in the morning finishing up a different collection that I promised to bring up. The second show is on the 5th of March, but I said I was going to bring up some of the pieces so they can do some promotional shooting and I really want to get some nice photos of it. Getting nice photos of your clothes is a tricky one because you need to like organize models, a location, a photographer that you work well with and all that stuff. And it's not cheap because you need to pay those people and sometimes people are very happy to collaborate where like the models, the photographer, the designer all get more photos in the portfolios so they all work for free but it is also super cool to, to work with a fashion show where they have a creative director, a bunch of models, like makeup artists, hairstylists that all like think of a concept together, work around your collection and do a big photo shoot um, and that's usually much bigger and better than something that I could organize and I've never worked with this fashion show before so I'm quite excited to see the kind of photos that they get. I'm just gonna clean my flap because it's an absolute tip. I'm gonna prep my collection just to make sure everything is put in order. And there's one piece that has a seam that's ripping. I'm also gonna prep some vlog editing stuff to do just to make sure that I have stuff to edit while I'm on the train. Though realistically I will be napping and doing sudokus. I'm very excited for like five hours of, or just a couple of days of not needing to sew. The last thing, I am still at fashion school. It's going really, really well. The only issue since I've been focusing so much on my collection, I'm behind. I basically have not done last week's homework um, and I'm not gonna get it done until the end of this week. So that's gonna be just a stressful one, but that's okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll probably have to go sit in the cafe because I need to do some sketches for my first fashion school project. Outside of that, I'm just excited to see some of my friends and enjoy things. However, this is the dress I was making over the week. It's... I wanted to sit down and talk about the reason why it's shaped like this and it looks like this and all the story behind this dress. But I just haven't finished the lining of the center back, so it's currently pinned. I love it when the lining is hand sewn to the center back zipper, so that's how it's pinned. I just need to sew it. I told the fashion person that I'd be bringing it to them tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna quickly do it now. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and do that. So, um, so I'm gonna hand sew that and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm not really sure what's happening tomorrow in terms of fashion show stuff. I don't think it's gonna be very exciting. I'll try to get some footage of me like doing fittings and stuff. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited to see the people, all the models who work it, who are walking. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <music> Three and a half inches above hip line. Hip. 
this area of the body. My back starts, obviously. Good morning. It's the day of the fashion show. Really exciting. I am going to drop off some pieces for the other fashion show. Um, I finished the hand sewing last night. The fabric was so thick. And it's like a real pain to get a needle through, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna go a little bit for that. Having brunch with some friends, I don't really have any more plans today. So I think I'm just gonna be sitting in a cafe, doing some work, probably some editing, some meeting. And yeah! It's so cool!
do a proper recap when I get home tonight. I sobbed the whole way through. Really, actually really fucking embarrassing. But it is what it is. <sighs> what a lovely life I get to live. I'm very, very thankful. Welcome to the one very shiny corner of my flat. In the mornings, it gets like this, and it's so beautiful. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I post photos about it whenever it happens, and I think it's so nice. And so I like to come and sit here and enjoy the sunshine. So, how up went really, really well. I think it was so exciting to be back in an environment where people were doing fashion and they're passionate. Now, I've always said this. The catwalk team have always been so incredibly just like kind and nice and exciting and just inviting. They've always been so caring. And I don't know how they manage to keep the same energy throughout the whole community because committee changes every single year, right? So you think that, you know, when a different person is exec or a different person is creative director, that the way that they run things will mostly determine how like sort of the general gist of or vibe of the rest of the team but i work with them this is my technically my third year working with them nothing really happened last year but every single time they've just been nothing but like kind and just like excited for me they've always been so 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 excited for me and i always found that so lovely to work with i don't know if you guys are watching this but i just want to say thank you and it's the train like monday afternoon to scotland in st andrews St. Andrews in Scotland arrived in the evening. The next morning, I went to drop off my pieces. We did some fittings. We like, gave each of the model each of the looks, moved things around just to like, make it work. And yeah, it was really, it was just so exciting. It was really, really exciting. Um, some of the models had walked for me two years prior in the show in 2020. And so it was so cool to be able to be with those models again um, and to see some familiar faces. It was nice to be back in town. And I miss it, and, I, and I, I spent four years of my life there, and I spent so much of my last year looking forward to being in London because I like it's a small place, and during COVID it was rough, but being able to visit once in a while is lovely. And then they have catwalk. I got these Polaroid shots of all the models and their looks, and I think it's the cutest thing in the world. I'm just so happy with the photos. The models just all looked incredible. I had this weird fear. Since I already knew the venue, I already knew the people, I already knew the models. The actual like preparation for the show, nothing was new. Like I knew what was happening, I knew where to find things. The only new thing for me was my pieces and the actual event, I knew it was gonna be different. But like, I wasn't as excited as I was the previous years. And I was a little bit worried that the excitement of it had sort of died down a little bit. And I thought, you know, like, am I just not gonna be as excited as I was? And, you know, I remember the feeling of seeing those pieces walking on the runway and like nothing like I've ever felt before. And really wanted to feel that again because I was so proud of myself when it happened two years ago. And I was like, I hope I didn't work this hard not to feel proud of myself, that's ridiculous. The show happens sobbing. I'm sobbing, I'm sobbing all the videos, I'm sobbing all the photos, I look, ridiculous it was so emotional to me because like looking at each of the pieces i could think of the time that i was making it and how difficult it was and how much i struggled mentally and it was all just a reminder that working really really hard to get it done has all been worth it and that it works out you know that was just really cool and exciting i i i wish i could go back to knowing me a few years ago and give her the biggest hug ever and say thank you because she worked incredibly hard for me to be able to enjoy this and yeah picked up my pieces the evening off I did a little poll on my Instagram and TikTok about what to wear. Everyone liked the green dress, so I wore the green dress. And then the next morning, I was back home. Got back, had class in the evening. That was it. I've got London Fashion Week this Friday, which is insane. I can't really believe that's happening so soon. It's, I don't know, it's actually crazy to me. That's me and the first fashion show of the season. I've got a few more coming. They're all very exciting. I'm excited to take you guys along. Thank you for sticking by as a vlog. If you have any questions, I'm trying to do a lot of question segments in my vlogs. So let me know and I can try to incorporate that in whatever way is best. I hope you all have a beautiful day and thank you for watching.